Hello friends, I am Sudhir and you are enjoying the YouTube channel English Carnival A Journey of Learning with Joy. Friends, this channel is dedicated to English language, literature, criticism, academics, motivation and many more. Friends, today we are going to explore, we are going to enjoy another piece of composition in row which is written by the most popular American poet and the winner of four Pulitzer Prizes. Yes, friends, he is none other than Robert Frost. And the name of the poem that we are going to explore today is Stopping by Woods on Snowy Evening. But friends, as usual, before we proceed, I request you to subscribe the channel by just pressing the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of uploaded such new videos on this particular channel in coming days. Friends, the last stanza of this poem, which is very optimistic and inspirational one. Friends, it is said that the last four lines of this poem or the last stanza of this poem were found in the room of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehruji in his last moments of life. It means he was also impressed by this poet and the last four lines of this poem. Friends, this poem is very popular and widely read and appreciated as well. At surface, it seems it looks quite simple and straight one, but it can be analyzed differently with different perspectives and point of views as well. Friends, it is a poem about the person who is passing through the forest or woods with his horse and stops somewhere in between in the evening in order to have rest and he enjoys the snowfall and uh, you know beauty of nature and expresses himself in a beautiful manner. So that is what we are going to explore, we are going to see and we are going to enjoy in this video. Friends, the basic objectives of this today's video are number one, we have to understand Robert Frost's literary contribution in brief. Number two, we have to explore, study and understand the poem Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening by Frost in detail. Number three, we have to summarize the poem conveniently with simple words and explain it easily stanza wise for better understanding. Friends, in this poem, the speaker or the poet is deeply attracted and mesmerized by the beauty of the woods and nature as well. And he tangled deeply in it, but later on he realizes that he has miles to go before he sleeps. He has miles to go before he sleeps. Friends, he says that he has to do so many things before he stops. That means before living this beautiful world. Friends, this poem has four stanzas and each stanza has four lines or we can see there are four quatrains in the poem. Friends, it is composed in the iambic tetrameter and it has the rhyme scheme as A, B, A, B, 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 C, B, C, C, D, 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 D. Friends, actually the poem is quite simple as far as its language and theme are concerned. But it is notable that the way Frost used spatial forms and the rhyme scheme in the poem, which silently and fluently express the theme of the poem and it appeals a lot to the readers like you and me. Friends, uh, this poem is, you know, simply the best one in its uh, you know use of figures of speech as we have imagery alteration and personification as well in this poem so friends i request you don't skip this video or presentation and try to watch it till end to enjoy the beautiful piece of composition by robert frost so friends without wasting much time let us begin friends at first uh, we'll have a glimpse of robert frost literary contribution in brief. Friends, Robert Frost was an American uh, poet and he was one of the most popular figures of the 20th century. Friends, he was born on 26th March 1874 in San Francisco, the United States of America and died on 29th January 1963. 
Friends, after the death of his father, he moved to New England as he loved the country life and recorded its charming beauty. And we have the, you know, examples of some of his beautiful and wonderful pieces of compositions. Friends, his poems are quite simple, straightforward and extremely sincere in tone. He was very much appreciated for his depiction of the rural life of New England. Friends, in fact, his poems express the portrait of the ordinary people and their routine lives and typical situations. Friends, in 1913, he published his first collection of beautiful poems called A Boy's Will. Then in 1914, north of Boston. Friends, there is the chain of publication and, you know, uh, honors as well, which began um, with Mountain Interval published in 1916, then New Hampshire published in 1923. Uh, and, uh, you know, it has received the Pulitzer Prize. His other collections, including collected poems, 1930, then a further range, 1936, a Witness Tree, 1942. These three works have also received Pulitzer Prize. His other important collections are, you know, West Running Brook, 1928, Steeple Bush, 1947, In the Clearing, 1962, which also received the appreciation and honors as well. So friends, it was all about Robert Frost in brief. Now, without delay, let us move towards the poem stopping by woods on a snowy evening and try to understand it stanza wise so in the first stanza he says whose woods these are i think i know his house is in the village though he will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow so friends in this stanza in the first stanza the poet or you know, the speaker himself says that he knows and he is familiar with the owner of this forest or woods. As he decides to stop and take rest for some time, he thinks that the owner of this wood or this jungle might be staying at the village and he is unable to stress out, he is unable to explore it, he is unable to point out his stay and he can enjoy the beauty of nature and woods covered by snow as much as he can. Friends, this stanza uh, has ABAB rhyme scheme. Now, in the second stanza, he says, My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. So friends, in this stanza, he talks about his dear horse with whom he stays there. He says that his horse also might be thinking that the place at which they stop is strange one, is new one. And his horse also thinks in the same way as he is not familiar with such nature, woods, snowfall or frozen lake and all. Whereas he usually used to stop near uh, the farmhouse of the poet or speaker. The poet calls his horse as my little horse, which means a pony. The way poet expresses and you know talks about the surroundings, it rightly shows his attitude and way of thinking and his decent approach of looking towards nature as well. The stanza also gives a clue to the readers that the weather or climate of that place is too cold and because of this coldness, the lake has been frozen. Friends, it is the darkest you know evening as he says and uh, on the other hand, we can see it uh, as it could be the longest night of the year and the poet has been you know tired because of his long journey or perpetual journey and uh, due to that he might be expressing himself in this way the stanza has bbcb rhyme scheme in the third stanza he says he gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake the only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy fleck. So friends, in this stanza, 
in this you know in these four lines the poet says that the horse is shaking his head and ringing the bell attached to his harness and he is asking the poet whether there is any problem or mistake as previously the poet tells us that the horse is not familiar you know with the place and behaving uh, in a strange way or strangely so it could be the reason behind horse such did or behavior friends we find the sound you know imageries in this stanza like harness bell light wind you know and uh, uh, snow flag so all these things are there this stanza has c c d d rhyme scheme in the last stanza friends he says the woods are lovely dark and deep but i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep so friends in these four lines the poet describes the woods uh, you know using uh, three uh, typical or different objectives like lovely dark and deep friends you know um, these things or these likes show that the poet uh, you know has been enjoying the scenery and nature as uh, long as he can but he had some other assignments and responsibilities or engagements and to fulfill the same before he sleeps and he has to leave this beautiful place reluctantly it means he has to leave it reluctantly the last two lines come in repetitive form as the poet might be trying to catch the attention of the readers like you and me to these two lines and uh, these lines can also be interpreted allegorically as where sleep may refers to the death friends in our lives also many times we come across with such typical situations you know in which we uh, really uh, want to enjoy and feel the beauty of life and nature as well but we sacrifice such things in order to carry out some other responsibilities and give justice to ourselves rather than spending time in enjoyment friends in addition to this it can also be interpreted as this beautiful nature you know woods or forest snow and all are the objects of distractions and temptations in the journey called life of the poet or the journey called life of human being like you and me and the poet might be trying to say that we also should not pay any kind of attention towards such distractions and temptations and instead of it we should concentrate on our goals responsibilities which are supposed to be carried out properly by us in our lives that might be the reason friends these last four lines seem quite optimistic and inspirational and we listen this you know listen or come across these uh, four lines many times in our routine life as well so friends this last stanza has the rhyme scheme as dd dd so friends it was all about robert frost superb composition stopping by woods on a snowy evening which ends up with the superb energetic and inspirational message or lines friends i hope you have enjoyed this uh, poem and uh, you know the beautiful feelings that robert frost expresses in this poem friends if you have uh, really liked this video and presentation then i request you to like it share it among your friends near and dear ones as well and uh, if you are a new viewer and you have not subscribed the channel yet then again i request you to subscribe the channel by just pressing the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon so that you will definitely get the notifications of such uploaded new videos on this particular channel called english carnival in coming days so friends uh, we'll meet soon um, on the same platform of english carnival with new subject and uh, new presentation so friends till then just take care of yourself and be happy thank you very much